Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how I made this cute watercolor portrait for my friend Liz for her upcoming birthday. Since she's a little spooky, I wanted it to be kind of witchy and fun, and I included her cat Grendel in there as well. And I started out by enlarging a rough sketch in Photoshop, and I printed it on an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. I'm using Strathmore cold press watercolor paper because I don't want my paper to have any sort of texture. To start, I lightly tape my sketch to my light box. You can find a pretty cheap light box on Amazon for like 20 bucks or so. I remember back in 2008 when I had this like giant bulky light box and it was the size of a printer and now light boxes are super thin, portable, and pretty inexpensive. To outline, I use the Tombow calligraphy pen. I use it for all my watercolors because you can get a lot of various line weights and it's waterproof so it won't bleed when I apply my paints directly on top of it. I spray the back of my paper lightly before putting it on the board, and then I use a delicate painter's tape to attach my painting. This is to ensure my painting doesn't buckle at all when I'm adding my watercolor. I bought this tape from Home Depot, and I like it because it doesn't rip my paper when I try to remove it. So here's my palette, and as you can see I have a lot of pre-mixed colors on here from last time. I always start with the skin tone and the blush, and then I move on to larger areas of color. For her kitty Grendel, I used this Payne's grey color with a little bit of brown mixed in. And don't forget to wait for your colors to dry a little bit before moving on to the other areas, or they'll bleed into each other. Unless you want that effect, in which case, go right ahead. Since her skin tone was dry at this point, I went back in with a slightly darker shade and added in some soft shadows to her face, neck, and shoulders. For Liz's hair, I'm using this big watercolor brush with a pointed tip, and I did this with a wash of black, and then I started going back in and darkening it further and further. and I wanted her dress to be a simple, like, splash of black paint, so I took a lot of water on my brush and made some brush strokes in a kind of triangular shape. It leaves a really nice painterly effect when you do this. I'm using white acrylic ink to add some sparkles onto her hat and dress. I let my portrait fully dry before removing it. What I usually like to do is like around 10 minutes after I'm finished painting it, I put a piece of clean paper towel on top and then lay a heavy book on top of this. This is kind of to draw out some of the moisture from the portrait so that it doesn't buckle so much when I take it off the tape. So 
So now my portrait's finished, and I have put it in a little bag for protection, and I close it with some cute washi tape. And that's how I made a portrait of my friend Liz. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment about what you like about it. This really helps my small channel grow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.